This conference will now be recorded. Okay, uh, so we will be starting our next topic that is routing custom configuration of the routing. Okay, so the, the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see number range customizing for routing. Okay, then the maintaining the task list types. Okay, for the routings, for the creation of task lists, profile with default values. We will cover this. Then field selection. We'll understand what is field selection. Of course, we covered this yesterday in the in the work center. It's a more or less same thing. Material type assignment. Then routing status. How the routing status is configured. Task list usage. How this is configured and how it is used. Planner group, and then overview variant. So these are the ones we will cover in the routing configuration. Okay. So first we'll start with the control data configuration. Okay, so in the control data, we will define the number ranges. Okay, and then maintaining the task list types, standard value descriptions, profiles with default values, and uh, the, the field selection. So these are the ones we'll normally configure. Okay. So now let's go to the system. We will see one by one. Let me log in again. Okay. So let me go to SPRO, SAP Reference IMG. So scroll down, go to production. Okay, then go to basic data. Okay, so today we are covering this one, routing configuration. So open the node here, we are here. So first we'll start with the control data. So if you open the control data, here you have. Define number ranges for routings, this one. We are dis discussing this one, define number ranges. So number ranges means, what happens is, when you create a routing, suppose let me, let me open one more session. Hmm. Okay. So uh, I'll go to the one of the product. Okay. Suppose we created. Uh, uh, routing for this one, right? Uh, Pepsi one liter bottle. Okay. Let me open one more session. Uh, open it right side. Okay. So if you go to display CA03, it's okay. If you go to display routing, suppose if I enter the material and the plant, if you go inside, Normally, uh, what, what we discussed when you create a routing, if you go to header, system automatically assigns a group number, right? Group number and group code. Now the question is, from where this group number is coming? How system is assigning this group number? Okay, so this group number comes from the number range configuration. So here, if you go to config, if you go to the config, here you see, Define number ranges for routings. If you click on this, here you see. First, let's go to the intervals. Here you see there is a button intervals. Click on it. See, here you have the interval. So, what is the interval? This is a from and this is to. Okay, and the let me open a notepad file. So, if you observe carefully, the number range interval is 0, 1. For this number range interval, this is from and this is to. Okay. So, what system does this? I'll show you this. Okay. Now, we, you, if you observe carefully, you have one more number range also, 0, 2. So, for 0, 2, this is the one. Somebody maintained this. Okay. This one. 
okay uh, so now if you observe carefully for the number range interval 0 to if you see there is a checkbox activated last column what is a column number one two three four five or uh, fifth column fifth column you see there is a column name as external assignment and it is activated for number uh, number range interval zero it is activated so the meaning is this is external external so now what happens is number range you can assign in two ways one is internal internal Okay, next one is external. External mean internal means system will assign. System will assign in the in the sequence. Okay, that means suppose let's say the one which we created, this is the number, current num this number system assigned. Now, when you create a next routing, when you create a next routing, system will assign the number as one three two. If you create next next one. It will assign like this. So in the sequence from this number range interval, it will assign. Okay. Whereas external means user. Okay. Let's see here. Whereas external means user will assign. That means we need to assign. We can assign. Suppose let's say let me go to CA01. Okay. Now, what I will do? I'll try to try to create a new one. Okay. Let me go to create mode. Okay. Let me go to create mode. Let me delete everything. Okay. Now here, system is assigning the group number normally, but we can we can give it. Suppose let's say if I give seven one two three, of course it will not take. So it will not take because seven one two three is not allowed because for in external what what setting they made for external external you have to give from this number range interval okay. so suppose if i give this number external now i am giving the number now it will take so that is external that means we are giving the number okay otherwise internal means system only will assign automatically based on this interval okay so that is a number range configuration so first you need to define the number range interval and then that you need to assign to our routing. Suppose I'll show you. If you go back here, now we have our number range intervals 0, 1, and 0, 2. This is internal. Okay. This is internal. This is internal. And this one, number range interval 0, 2. This is from 2, and this is external. So now this 2 will be assigned to this one. You see here there is option maintain task list types and 